Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bionicle review. And this one's on uh, three of the Toa and Nika from 2006. So on the front of each manual, have the little Bionicle logo, and Nika logo, and which uh, Toa it is, and picture of the sets that there are in a, a stormy background with the rain around it. Since at, since Bionicle at this time was starting to get more darker. And that's probably one of the reasons why it ended, is that it was getting more dark. Well, further into, like, the uh, Mari and Toamari, and then also Stars. But also in Generation 2 of which, also kind of there. But yeah. Then in the down below corner, Lego logo, age range, and uh, set number, and Joking Hazard as well. <coughs> How to... Open up the caster lids to get the, the strobe light weapon and Zammer spheres. And then on the back side, advertisement of all six Toa and Nika. Uh, with in the stormy background from, from the mini video that there is. And then add for Lego Shop at Home and Lego Club. Then advertisement for the Bonkle Heroes game. Which quite fun game, but all but unfortunately didn't much follow the storyline. But regardless of that, but yeah. And then after the uh, Maze of Shadows Game Boy Advance game, also kind of fun game, and Bonkle Three Web of Shadows movie, of course. And then ad for Bonkle.com, of course. And then advertisement for the fan of the really neat set Vizon and Fenrak, which. I'll be reviewing for a future Throwback Thursday, so look forward to that. And then after two of the other Titan sets, being Axon, which I previously reviewed a while ago, and Brutaka, of which next next Throwback Thursday, along with Umbra, so subscribe and look forward to that. And then advertisement of three out of four of the uh, other play sets that there were. Which I have previously reviewed on Throwback Thursdays. Yeah. And then add for all six Paraka around Voyanui and all and also the uh, Zammer Sphere box, of course. And all of which I previously reviewed for Throwback Thursday. But yeah. Then how to change the batteries of the uh, strobe light weapon and how to put back in the camster, of course. And then the pieces that come with the set and last building steps. Right now, on to the set. Starting out with Kongu, of course. And, of course. And then, from first glance, as you can see, that all the Toa Nika sets, of which same build, and like the other years, same build, but just different color scheme, different mask, different weapon. Well, well, this, of which was the last wave that trend kind of happened, since, of course, as you'll see with Huki, and also with Nuparu, did have a bit of extra things added to them, so to help finish up on that stretch, but yeah. <clears throat> now, and as for the feet, which of course are these finned ones that have a little piston on the front of them. Oh, yeah, piston on the front of them, and also these ridges on the sides, but and then the far back side have these little lines around them, which if you like put them upside down together, then they can form teeth that you can use on creature Wahi mocks if you wanted, but yeah. But all the Kongus here, which nice to see in like green and silver, which 
even though which also carried on to Lisevic in the Toamari line the following year. Okay. And then further above are the these Anika limb pieces, but in dark green. He was only set to ever have that, so at least nice to have here to use for mocking. And then further above, and as, as you can see, like all the Anika and Paraka, the elongated limb pieces that were introduced with the Visorax the year prior for that. Then of course the Anika first used these kind of knee pad pieces as well for Kongus here in uh, silver, although I think it could have worked well in like mixed with with dark green mixed into it. Well, but that's just me. Maybe that would throw off the color scheme a bit. <coughs> and then as for the torso piece, which which is kind of consistent of like three different pieces, so into like take off this chest piece and have this large uh, torso piece. The Anika first used these this kind of torso piece. So along with the metro waist down below, and, and of course, which carried on into all the other years, of course. And then this chest plate piece, whereas as Konku, Holly, and uh, Jaller all have this chest plate piece, but three others have a different kind, which I'll show later. But yeah, and you can attach it into it by a few different connection points, like so. And as for the arms here, which with these little shoulder pad pieces that kind of flap a bit, well, unless if depending on which uh, hole you have it pinned at, of course. And also the backside, which kind of not much exposure except for these other pinholes around, which you can attach certain bits to. And back to the arms is that the lower arms that. Whereas he and Jaller only wants to use the Metro limbs for uh, lower arms for that. When the rest of which have the Vaki limbs instead. Yeah. And the last of which is the strobe light weapon, which looks almost like a bow and arrow or something. Yeah, and also and we press on the button and lights up. I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, but it's kind of a strobe lighting and, well me or maybe just doesn't work very much due to the age of it but yeah but as for the other armor which kind of the same same build but of course with the ultra xamersphere launchers but and, and of course like the traditional xamersphere launchers but of which have a little extender bit to it so you can load four spheres into it, but, and also the Xamar spheres kind of match with the color of that the weapons uh, light up on. And of course, of course, I'm sure you all probably know how they, how these go like by this point. Bring it, take it, and launch off like so. Not it with that. And now on to the face or the head parts of which. As I take the head piece off and connect it by this bit and also a four long rod for that. And also if I take this uh, mask piece off and you got the Nika head piece which is mixed of lime green and yellow for that to make the eye effect go on for that. Well, depending on which ones that is. It also does have uh, two connection points to it. For that. It has for each Toa Nika mask piece, which all of which are a soft rubber kind of bit. And also they all go over that. So it can't attach to Metru uh, heads of that, heads and things. Well, but luckily the following year uh, fixed that with using all Metru heads well until to that the year after 2008 then, then as for kongus here which kind of an interesting look to it sort of a side by side bit like smoothie and all rough scaly and a lot of pointy teeth in their horse and then a little more going on and also these three ridges or pipe like ridges for that and how you attach onto that is 
quite simple like that. <clears throat> and so now that is about it with Kongu. And now on to Holly. Which second version we've ever had of this character. The previous version was the Colimatorn in 2003. And also, and then the third version was with the Mari. The following year, of course, but kind of an interesting color scheme. This is of dark blue and uh, white. That even though the Tolamari version did have uh, also dark blue, but with lime green, mostly to match with the undersea seaweed or whatever. If anyone knows why exactly Holly here has white on her, comment below. And then as for some pieces to her. Yeah, I do have the thin foot pieces, but luckily, but mixed with dark blue and white, which you can definitely use on box if you wanted. And same with the lower legs, same thing. And then also for the upper limbs, which are the Viserac limb pieces in white, also great to use for mocks and all. And then chest plate, same as Kongu and Jawlers, but in a uh, gunmetal gray for that. And then the shoulder pad pieces also in the uh, dark blue and white mix. Then Vaki Lin, and then to her weapon, which is said to be a harpoon kind of weapon. And then let's see this light. Uh, it's not getting any light feature uh, on this one. Well, since the batteries have expired and I'm too lazy to change them for this review, but yeah, but whatever. And as for the Xamarosphere launcher, is in gunmetal gray and the Xamarosphere is in, in green for that, to match with the strobe light, of course. <coughs> then, as for, and then one thing specific is the mask piece. Uh, which, as you can see, oh, it's not so feminine to her. Oh, which, same problem as a uh, golly master of water in Generation 2 2015 version, and kind of did, but and also a bit of a uh, golly mystica as well. Maybe. I'm not sure why, but whatever. But also, although this two part of which kind of gives which gives a good underwater vibe, which only thing one the only good thing about that but aside from that it has some kind of good marking or detailing in it like these ridges under the cheek parts and so on and, and I guess that is about it and that's about it but Holly here and lastly, on to Hoopy. Which has, and of course, same build as all the Nike, but interesting thing is, since he the stone elemented character, where instead of being brown, instead it's this key orange and gummel gray. So, first time they ever did characters like that, well, until Makuta Patel in the 2008 Mystica line. Yeah. Oh, and also uh, Rakshi and Stars, but yeah. So, maybe it was a time to diversify a bit or whatever, but yeah. Then, as for the legs of which, same pieces as the other Toa Nikas, but with the Kito Orange and Gummel Grape kind of color scheme for that. But also have the little spiky foot pieces. So just like how the Paraka kind of did with two types of feet, the Anika also did that, but had these in Gummel Grape for that. And of course became black with Toamari Huki the following year. And then as for his uh, body piece, which is in all key torrent, which I think should have been on the uh, Mox Nui figure in the 2009 Glatorian Legends line, making it a little more uh, bright and presentable for that, but... Maybe you can do that yourself, but yeah. <clears throat> and then as his chest plate piece, kind of different than the other two that we just looked at, but 
also the kind used on uh, Matoro and uh, Nupur, but in Gunmel great for that, since, of course, equaled out balance throughout the threes of this wave. But yeah. Then, of course, then the limbs of which have the shoulder pad and especially Vaki limb in Gunmel Grey, which is nice to use in mocking if you are to make a neat metallic kind of figure for that. And then to his weapon, which is this uh, axe piece, and let's see if this lights up. Uh, sadly, not either. But yeah. But whereas this uh, axe piece, just like Matoro's uh, strobe light sword, which which were the two reused on Umbra, of which next next throwback Thursday, they were both used on that one. So this one didn't stay exclusive to him. But yeah. But although one thing that makes him different than the other Anika is this long chain piece. Probably to give a little bit of a stone kind of feel, or Pokoro stone kind of feel to it, which connects from the axe all the way from his sword axe to the part of his back for that. And of course, this did carry on into Toamari Huki the following year, but they were traditional system chain pieces, this a traditional or larger scale chain piece, which was also used on Vizan Fenrak in this wave as well. And of course, this helped bump up the piece count from the usual 46 to 62 for that. But yeah. And then as for his Xamar Sphere launcher, which as you see, the Xamar Spheres are in this uh, yellowish orange color scheme, but some copies of the set did have uh, have red and all. Same case with New Peru and also the small sets in the Mari wave as well. But if you look on the picture, they look more red, but some copies of the set did have red for that. So it's not total false advertising for that. But yeah. Then as for the mask piece of which, if, if I zoom in on that, well for his, his mask piece, which as you can see, also in the gummel gray coloring, thing, of which a little open mouth kind of area to see some of the white of that. Well, maybe it depended if how much white the headpiece would include for that on your versions, but yeah. And then also does have a little uh, tire tread kind of marking to it, but, but of course it's like extra grippling to that, and extra little fin bits on the sides, and also a large chunky chin part kind of making it. And of course to give it a stone kind of feel to it since he's the toe of stone, but yeah. Here's the back side of which not of which completely solid and not so exposed for that. But yeah. Let me get these all together. <clears throat> so now on to the final verdict. Overall, I think these are which are quite kind of cool sets, or nowadays quite good sets for how they are. Well, at the time, quite cool, but nowadays still kind of cool. But yeah, like you get plenty of good. Uh, color schemes throughout the sets, and also, and of course, highlight are the strobe light weapons. Well, if you get the chance to see that in person, but yeah, and also, and of course, the Anika and Bunch of Matorn from the Mari Nui line that we get to see here as Toa, of course. Oops. And oh, what else? And also, as for the nine to ten dollars that they were back in two thousand six, oh, quite good for how they are. How they are, well, with inflation, probably like around fifteen, sixteen dollars today. Well, oh, it's still kind of fair of how it is. But yeah. Also, although Yuki, which kind of different than the previous uh, stone elemented characters, which instead of brown, it was in key to orange and. Uh, 
well, Keaton Orange and Gunmetal Gray. But at least, so of course, probably add a little extra diversity in the color palettes of all of us. Well, in your uh, pieces or colors of pieces, but yeah. And so, of course, they, which kind of a sign of the times where you get quite a good bit of stuff for a cheap price, but yeah. And now, if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who are still looking to get these sets, I say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Bricari, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.